just go back to Cinnabar and then and we'll just travel to travel to Viridian. Let's see what's up there. All right. So let's go ahead and heal up. See some, but pretty much not a lot has changed when it comes to pretty much the first few games. Uh, I could always check out here, see what this guy is up to. Yawn, I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this dream about a drowsy eating my dream. Weird, huh? Huh, what's this? Where did this TM come from? This is spooky. Here, you can have this TM. TM42 concerning the stream eater. And now he's back to sleep. So, there we have. We sure have a Pokemon that uses Dream Meter. That would be Gengar. That's so we'll just uh, uh, we'll deposit uh, which one was that? It's 42. I have a lot of these TMs. Yeah, we'll just uh, keep the keep the HMs around pretty much whenever needed. But uh, right now we're gonna head on over to Viridian. Uh, Viridian City Trainer House, the club for top trainer battles. And there's that one guy. I think they'll still show you how to catch a freaking Weedle. Are you going to battle the leader? Good luck to you. You'll need it. Yo, champin' making. How's it going? Looks like you're on a roll. The gym leader is a guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you've got. Oh, it is just him. Freaking Giovanni would have had like a freaking maze. I mean, you had to move around and stuff, and then you had to go battle his cronies, and then you had to fight him for like the third or fourth time. But let's go talk to Blue here. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all of the gems in Johto? <laughs> Johto's gems must be pretty pathetic then. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're, you are good or not by battling you right now. Ready, Johto champ? Bring it on. So, let's uh, Pidgeot. Uh, this is kind of like a... This is kind of like a freaking rival battle, but... Uh, let's see, he's gonna use a freaking Executor, but we will switch. Oh, what the hell? I thought I picked a Garkonine. My bad. That should bring it down to... That would be it. Okay, oh. 
Sweet. Uh, let's see, you know, right on. I'll switch it back to Feral Goddar just to take advantage of the HUD type. And the Surf. God, I always, I always enjoy that sprite. The um, attack move sprite for a Surf is just so cool. So beautiful. I mean, grounded blues guys are bits a bit higher level than me, which doesn't always have to be like that. Uh, it just has to work. So, uh, okay, nope. And Gengar goes down. And bye bye, Alakazam. Uh, some uh, Gyarados. Uh, I think I might just keep Pidgeot around. So Pidgeot flew a pie. And use a rain dance. Rain continues to fall. Oof. That's a spicy meatball. And quite a bit of damage there. That's attack. And you can't even you can't even hit me. And that might do it. That might do it for Pidgeot. Yep, sweet. Not sweet in that regard, but pretty much it was uh, it was bound to happen. Ooh. Spicy. But wow, are you kidding me, dude? Alright, I'm gonna have to freaking use the big guns. And you can't even use a full restore on him now, can you? Yeah, that's right. That's right. So we lost a couple of Pokemon, but we are still in pretty good shape. Still in pretty good shape. Oof. Might do some damage there. It's kind of rather cool that they use the Pokemon from the um, from the anime because I don't think he's actually used the Generation One starter. Like in the first generation games. How oh, the heck did I lose to you? <sighs> Alright. Here, take this. It's Earth Badge. Tom received Earth Badge. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Alright, I was wrong. You are the real deal. You are a good trainer, but I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Alright. And just like that, it's nighttime. Just turned uh, 6 p.m. here. But. Uh, so, how many. How many badges do I have? So, I have 15 of them. I also have 177 hours on this. Quite a bit of time, uh, but I'll 
be right back. I'm gonna check here to see if there's like another badge that I have to go get, or if that's pretty much it. But I'll be right back. And hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Pokemon and Crystal here. Uh, last time I pretty much was on here, I was trying to find which other gem I must have missed, but pretty much I had to go through much most of my playlist here. Pretty much I had to try to find which badges I had already done, and I did seven of them as I as I was correct, but. I actually had to look up on Google pretty much that uh, Blaine. Uh, I actually forgot that freaking Blaine uh, moved his gem from Cinnabar to the Seafoam Island, so I'm gonna have to go face him, and we'll, and we'll fight him, and then we'll get around to doing that. So um, I think pretty much I'll just. End up pretty much using pretty much the Earth Badge video, and then this one we'll just combine it into two. Yeah. So not much as much has changed here. Pretty much it's a lot smaller than it used to be. It used to be a freaking maze in here, but pretty much it's just a little Blaney here. Pretty much freaking the freaking hippie from the anime. But let's go talk to him. Wow. My gem and Cinnabar burned down. My fire breathing Pokemon and I are homeless because of the volcano. Wow. But I'm back in business as a gym leader here in this cave. If you can beat me, I'll give you a badge. Ha! You better have burn heal. Blaine wants to battle. Bring it on, some mag cargo. Yeah, unfortunately, if we're the old man here, I'm gonna have a pretty decent uh, type advantage here. With this water, water and fire. But I have some mag cargo. Thank you for playing. Um, as I'll send out Gengar. See if he can pretty much hypnotize and pretty much do some dream eating. Then once we deal with Blaine here, we should be able to get into the area of Mount Silver and the routes pretty much leading up to it. And I'm just going to send out a Rapidash. Not quite as OP as his Generation 1 self, but oh yeah, that's right, I have to freaking hypnotize. Hypnotize Rapidash. <laughs> you just try to use a freaking full heal. Oh, yeah, that's right. He freaking decides to use that. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. He decides to pull a fast one on me and try to use Fire Blast. Blaine is defeated. That means we have gem badge number eight. I couldn't believe I forgot about that. The old man still has a few tricks up his sleeve. But anyway, Blaine says, Awesome, I've burnt out. You've earned volcano badge. And I get five grand for that. Tom received volcano badge. Sweet. I did lose this time, but. I'm going to win next time. And I rebuild my Cinnabar gym. We'll have to have a rematch. Yo! Huh. It's already over already. 
Sorry, sorry, Cinnabar Gem was gone, so I didn't know where to find you. But hey, you're plenty strong even without my advice. I knew you'd win. Yeah, you yeah, you definitely knew. Oh, I'll, I'll believe you. Alright. I'll just uh, travel to Viridian. Oh. And we'll go through that. I'll head on our merry way. But pretty much all the badges that we have. Pretty much we now have all 16 of them. Including the Johto region and the Kanto region. So let's head on back to uh, Victory Road. Victory Road. As soon as these freaking weak Pokemon decides and decides to not attack me. This way leads to Mount Silver. You'll see the scary strong Pokemon out there. What? Okay, I would have thought that guy would have moved on over. Alright, I'm gonna have to go check, go look at that up, but I'll be back in just a moment. There, I'm back. I have to go freaking talk to goddamn Professor Oak. And instead of me just going, just, uh, just to Palatown, we'll just pretty much just walk our way there. Why? Because I feel like it. So you're that. So yep, that's that. <laughs> uh, so it's not gonna be that far of a walk. It's uh, pretty much familiar territory for all of those people. Who pretty much had to go through here the first time. But let's go talk to the old man. Wow, that's excellent. You've collected all badges of gems and canto. Well done. I was right in my assessments of you. Tell you what, Tom, I'll make an arrangement so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, but it's, so it's off limits, but we can make an exception in your case, Tom. Go up to Inigo Plateau and reach Mount Silver from there. How's your Pokedex coming? Let's see. That's yeah, probably shit right now. <laughs> 194 Pokemon seen, 75 owned. To evolve, some Pokemon grow, others use the effect of stones. If you're in the area, I hope you come visit again. Cool. Yeah, I, I haven't really done a whole lot with my Pokedex. <laughs> Not necessarily a point that I always try to make, but in the previous playthrough of Blue, I kind of made it a point to try to get to at least 151, but I can never really get Mew, you know, I got Mewtwo during that little, during that little playthrough, which is still available on the channel. Quite good stuff there. All right. And with that, that guy should be gone. Yep. Alright, so pretty much we are pretty much in the tail end of one big long journey. And the Pokemon here are actually pretty OP. Which is going to be somewhat needed for pretty much the battle ahead. As there won't be a whole lot of trainers left. And the only building around here is a Pokemon Center here. But 
uh, pretty much the trainer that I am going to be battling is very, very, very tough. He's like the probably the most toughest trainer in the game. So pretty much uh, and his Pokemon are at least uh, upper 70s, lower 80s in terms of levels. So I'm definitely going to have a lot of work to do. So uh, pretty much we'll leave it at that. Then next time we that I play this pretty much and record this, it will be my Pokemon will be pretty much at least uh, about 20 to 25 levels higher than what they are right now. So pretty much I got my work cut out for me. So until then, my name is Dart Tom, and I will see you guys next time.